Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Good morning, it's 8.30 on Sunday the 28th of February. Just making my way down to the land and as always, never quite sure what we're going to get done today, but let's find out. Well, it's a beautiful morning. It's cold because you can see I've got frost again on the grass but the sun is peeking out behind those trees and it's uh, it's actually starting to melt the frost off the grass on this northern side of the field but it is a beautiful morning really nice not quite sure how much I'll get done today I suspect it might be a short visit as I don't think I'm going to get uh, help with the chicken coop today so this might be a pottering video it might be a video that doesn't go out because <laughs> there's nothing on there but I guess we'll find out shortly I'm gonna get opened up and uh, get the kettle on and uh, I'll keep you posted with whatever it is I do get done today but uh, it is a glorious morning cool on the hands but uh, with a little birdie singing it's a real nice morning. Well, first things first, I thought I'd just give the uh, little red tractor a run. It's been a couple of weeks since uh, we had it out. Just like to make sure that everything's okay with it. I'll give it a run around the field just to uh, check the blades are cut in and just make sure everything's nice and freed up before I put it back. Lots of sign of life. And the trees, they're all starting to bud now and leaf out, which is nice. It means spring certainly can't be far away, because uh, the trees know better than we do <laughs> which season it is. So I'll get myself a cup of coffee made while that's just warming through, and I'll catch up with you shortly.
Well, just catching up with a, a little job that's needed doing for a while. I've just put another bay in this composting area and uh, I'll spend a bit of time now moving some of this compost that's rotted down into that end bay um, and free up some space for the inevitable <laughs> grass and leaves I'll be collecting from the field uh, as we go through spring and into summer. Uh, that I'm hoping that what's in those three bays will go into that end bay and I'll just leave that there through this year to just continue to rot down and we'll start afresh with these uh, these other bays. So a bit of uh, heavy lifting work and at least it'll warm me up because it is quite cool still out here. Well, that took a bit longer than I expected. It's gone 11 o'clock already. But the good news is that new compost bin is now full from the three compost bins that I collected all the way through last year. So they're now ready to start taking this year's grass and leaves. And to be fair, it's not actually completely full. There is a little bit of space left on top, but I think I'm inclined to leave that now as it is and just start filling up the original three bins again. So, a bit of heavy lifting, but a good job done. I think I'll bob a little red tractor back in the garage. It's had a decent uh, run this morning so I'll pop that away and I'll get the coffee that I didn't have this morning <laughs> as usual I got distracted and uh, I've not had one yet so I must rectify that a bit of a sweat on <laughs> it's a, a glorious day out there just got something in my coffee don't know what that is that's the first one of the day I slipped up this morning I uh, as often happens got sidetracked I boiled the kettle ready to go and then I just kind of drifted off 
But it's good that I did because I've got uh, a nice job out of the way this morning. Just checked over a little red tractor, make sure that that's uh, okay. Give it a little run up the field and just let it sit for 15 minutes or so. Um, constructed that new compost bin and uh, totally underestimated the amount of time it would take to empty out the uh, the three compost bins that I've been filling last year. Um, it is quite amazing how much it, it breaks down. I must have filled those bins, I don't know, six, seven times uh, during the course of the year. You know, you'd, you'd fill them and then it would break down, fill it again, break down. Um, there's an awful lot of grass and leaves gone in those bins. You'll know if you're a regular viewer how many times I uh, I cut the grass and how much how much grass I actually pick up and dump in those bins. Um, so it clearly is working. It is breaking down. Um, as is mucky subject coming up. <laughs> as is the uh, the waste out of the composting toilet. I've been through all three bins and. Uh, it, it is breaking down. It's uh, it's hard to tell which is broken down grass and which is uh, the residue of the compost bins. Um, but rather than take a chance, I'll now leave that one new bin. Um, it is completely full. Well, I say completely. There's about six inches off the top. Um, so over the course of this year, that will have chance to to break down even further. We're going to get some uh, some frosts over the next at least three or four weeks. I'm guessing until we get spring proper and uh, the risk of frost is is gone. So hopefully by the end of this year, that bin will be in a position to go out into um, the raised beds or around the trees that I'm planting whatever um and i'll have filled up three more <laughs> ready for next year so yeah good job done out the way i'll just have a quick look at the uh, the seedlings you saw those yesterday so i'm not going to video those for you but they're coming along really quite nicely now uh still no sign of the carrots or the uh, potatoes um but i am going to do those turnips <laughs> That I should really have done last week. Um, not on turnips, the Swedes. <laughs> Similar, but not the same. Um, I've got some little uh, individual pots, so I'll pop that tray into the polytunnel and uh, I'll just pop those into some bigger pots and just bury them a little bit to give those uh, leggy stems a bit of uh, a bit of stability. Other than that not a great deal going to be happening um i might dig out some hooks uh for that new framework i put up in the raised beds there is no sign of progress on the chicken coop um i had hoped to have at least made a start in the foundation of that today but i am on my own so i'm not even going to attempt that i'll leave that now until uh until next weekend um, still in two minds as to where to put chicken coop. A couple of you did uh, put some suggestions. Uh, <laughs> at the moment, it's a 50 50 split between putting it kind of parallel with this uh, cabin and putting it to the back of the, uh, the garden room. There are merits in both, and there are issues with both. Um, in terms of the plus points, if I put it behind me here, in line with the cabin, um, it will almost fence off this uh, working area, this maintenance area, whatever you want to call it, uh, from the garden itself, where the raised beds and the, uh, the polytunnel are. And it would be nice at some point to get some fencing out. Um, both to stop critters getting on the raised beds, but also as a another line of defence against any uh, people who might be a bit inquisitive and want to come down and have a look. Um, 
downside of that it is um, in shade for a lot of the day because of that big tree line I don't think the chickens would complain too much about that and it would stop them getting too hot in the height of summer uh, but it might be a bit dark and wet under those trees um, at the back here behind the garden hut garden hut <laughs> garden room <laughs> um, it is going to fill a lot of space which will make maneuvering the tractor a bit of a challenge and might make this a little bit cluttered at the back here um, somebody did comment about the drainage ditch and potential for rats um, rats there are going to be rats there is no shadow of a doubt because it's a field at the end of the day um, and neighbouring fields have got horses chickens geese all manner of different things so they will be around anyway and I know from talking to my neighbour Gary um, he's had issues in the past with um, with rats he's got a current mouse problem um, foxes and we're still not sure what this is that's roaming around here whether it's a stoat a weasel a minx or mink um, I can't get my words out today it's because I'm knackered I've been digging out there and I really want to get this coffee <laughs> I'm starting to dry up um, so yeah the, the, we're going to have those issues anyway irrespective of where um, the chicken hut goes really um, on the plus side it is uh, a dry area at the back there it doesn't get standing water um, it does get sun pretty much through the whole day um, so I don't know stick your comments in the comment section um, what would you do well promise me you won't get disappointed if I do the opposite of what you suggest because <laughs> I can't do both um, at the end of the day so I am drying up I'm going to get this coffee down me um, I'll sort those Swede seedlings out um, there's a few bits and pieces to put away but I won't be here for much longer today um, I do have other bits and pieces to do at home um, ready for the dreaded work again tomorrow um, so wherever you are whatever you're doing I hope you are staying safe and being well um, let me know a couple of people have commented that they've started some seedlings off but um, I am a bit surprised that more of you haven't um, said that you've started early um, it is a good chance to get that learning experience which is exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing um, you are going to need to know how early and how late in the season you can plant and get away with it um, and in all honesty if these come up and uh, suddenly fail due to frost or they get too leggy like those Swedes and they don't recover I'm not losing anything I'm losing a few seeds that I can easily replace um, but I, I will have learned a valuable lesson um, fingers crossed though I have got high hopes for the majority of these um, perhaps not the Swede because they have got really really leggy and I will be surprised if they do continue on and get into maturity um, but the others the uh, the peas the cabbage the uh, cauliflower um, they're growing a lot slower than those Swedes and I don't really have any concerns about those um, and I've no concerns at all with the potatoes and the carrots other than they might not produce anything um, that would be embarrassing wouldn't it <laughs> but you will find out because I do share both the successes and the failures with you the objective of what I do on YouTube really um, isn't to claim to be the world's greatest in whatever it is I'm doing the objective is to let you see exactly what I do and how it turns out for real um, so that you can copy the success and learn and adjust from whatever failures I get so enough talking I'm going to get this coffee down mate get those sweets sorted out do a few little bits and pieces and then I'll be off home so I'll, I'll catch up with you shortly um, probably in the polytunnel well it is a truly beautiful day I have to say 
Uh, I was going to set about those uh, seedlings in the polytunnel, but um, let's have a little quick wander. So we've not done this for a while. <laughs> that uh, pond has dried out. <laughs> oh, I am praying that I can sort this next year, or this year I should say. And uh, I'll put that back to how it was and uh, clear out those. You can probably see that little French drain running down from where the car is. Um, I just wanted to have a quick look at these trees because I noticed on the way in that most of them are. They have got buds on now. You're not going to see that, are you? Well, you kind of think. But I was concerned about these uh, fruit trees I put in last year because you remember they got eaten to death by uh, the critters and it looks like they have got buds there but they're not opened out yet so I don't know I did think that these might die uh, the other one was even worse this one here, it's looking very sorry for itself. And I'm just looking now. I suspect that that one has gone completely. Everything else though is budding. Certainly along the, uh, the wooded area, all of those trees down there are all in bud. And to be fair, these are as well. The whole field now is showing definite signs of life. I don't know if you'll see these or not on the video, but i put my hand behind. Is it going to focus? I don't think it is. But they are, trust me. So I'll get myself back down into the polytunnel and get these uh, seedlings sorted out. <laughs> you can see all of these are definitely in bud. All of them. That's just reminded me now, look. <laughs> that uh, wildlife feeder. I really do need to sort that out. I might just have a quick look at that when I've done the uh, seedlings. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, <laughs> but I really do want to move that uh, a bit further down the field towards the cabin there. Uh, anyway, there we go, a little wander around. It is a glorious day. It'll be a shame to have to go home actually, but needs must. I do have a few things to do. One of the things I definitely need to do is sort out that bed that's been messed up by the rabbits. <laughs> it looks like they're definitely trying to live in there. So I do need to sort that out as well. I'll de definitely do that before I go home. Uh, but no doubt it'll be back to that same state next weekend those garlic are doing real well the new ones that are in there I'm surprised they've come through so early and the old cauliflowers are hanging in there as well in fact they're looking very nice they're putting on quite a bit of growth now anyway as usual I've got sidetracked so I'll get myself in the polytunnel and we'll sort out those seedlings Well, I'm not sure how this is going to go, I guess, like everything else, we'll just make it up as we go along. I'll try and scoop these out and do them as best I can. But uh, I'm not sure. trying to split them out but they're a little bit close together 
Yeah, I think, I think I'll just pop them on like that. There we go, they're coming out now. There we go, there's the first one. <laughs> then we have to have a bit of water after this because it'll be a bit of a shock. So I'll get cracking with those and then uh, you can see how they are once I've got a few more than one done. <laughs> well, that's what we've ended up with. 37 individual potted seedlings I'll just give these a, a watering because they'll be in shock <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see whether they do or they don't survive they were really really leggy um, I'm not entirely convinced that they'll be okay but we'll see all we can do is try so this is going to take a little bit of time <laughs> so I'll uh, pop the camera off and come back to you shortly when I'm finished well that's those uh, seedlings transplanted, as I say I've got 37 of those so hopefully they'll all fight on through, I guess time will tell. So that's polytunnel done, as always there's one last job so I'm going to pop outside and do that now, I've mentioned it loads of times, I'm going to uh, move that to uh, wildlife feeder so fingers crossed I'll be able to get that a little bit closer to the cabin and that'll be me done then Well, that's the feeder in place so nice little location here got a couple of branches running down just to give uh, the wildlife a bit of a a run in and I've just filled it up with uh, some seed so job's good it's uh, very very close actually to the cabin also close to these <laughs> ever-growing rabbit burrows that are everywhere around here and they really are everywhere there's loads of them everywhere you look anyway it's nice to see the feeder finally in after my procrastination i finally got round to it so job done well that's it for another day nice to see a bit of progress with those compost bins it's been wanting doing for quite a while itching to get going with those materials that are stacked around the, the back of the cabin there but uh, sadly not today it's gonna to have to be another day also nice to see the feeder up after all this promising I've been doing for God knows how many months now <laughs> but it's done cabins locked up polytunnels locked up and uh, I'm about done for the day Beautiful, beautiful day. Definitely spring-like. I know it's uh, going to fool us though. <laughs> we will get some frosts before much longer, but uh, it's nice to have a day where it's not freezing cold and it's not chucking it down with rain. So that's me done. Off home and I'll catch you all in another video.